Welcome back. I'm playing Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector, and I'm continuing on going over these bonus units that we got through the Skulls of the Skull Throne uh, event in 2024. The last of the three bonus units are or is the Royal Warden with the Necrons. So if you're enjoying these videos, please give my channel a like and subscribe. I encourage me to post more content for you. Uh, but this, I think, is going to be a very interesting unit potentially because I can see him being good for multiple force selections. Uh, he only costs 150 points and he is considered an HQ unit so he's going to have 2 AP. He's only got 240 health, 4 movement, 6 armor, and 10 evasion. Uh, it's kind of similar to the uh, Hexmark Destroyer which is kind of your alternative option at 160 points. Now this guy obviously has ranged attacks as well but it's more of a pistol so he's got to be a little bit closer whereas this guy is meant to be more of a uh, better range unit with an optimal range of five here but he's got abilities to start buffing up your unit so this guy is kind of a buffer uh, he can also do pretty decent damage himself you know he's got this relic goss blaster so if he has five attacks uh, 13 to 18 with an armor piercing of five optimal range of five a base accuracy of 95 percent and that accuracy falls off for five per tile now he's got really good abilities here. Uh, the first one is the adaptive strategy. So target unit has their combat efficiency optimized. So pretty much for your momentum you get uh, half a accuracy percent per momentum and you get a critical hit chance for your momentum as well. So if you can really get put this on uh, any of your forces, you know, these guys, if you're putting them into the hyperphase reap blade where you want to end up doing more damage because they already have a crit chance and they're pretty close, you know, you could use this on top of that and then it would crit these guys even farther and they'd have increased accuracy because that's one of the main things with these guys here is, you know, there's nothing worse than them missing their melee attack and you're able to just guarantee that with what's going on. The other thing to realize with, um, the Necrons, as you know, if you can't suppress them, if they can't get suppressed, then they can still do decent damage in melee for your ranged units here. So you can get a bunch of damage going. Uh, you could potentially, you know, use the Tesla Carbines to have a better chance to hit with those to be able to do even more damage. Um, so there's lots of different things that you could do here uh, to try to guarantee better attacks. And then with uh, crits in this game doing so much damage, it it's just going to be a powerful ability um, to really sink a bunch of attacks or if you want to use the death marks to try to snipe uh, another hero because you've just weakened them down with the hunter's mark and now that's on cooldown then you can get another uh, potential round of attacks here um, by using their abilities and you can have multiple ones of these so you can really buff up their uh, accuracy and critical hit chance assuming they've already got some momentum gains going up and then the other thing these guys do is effectively now this is going to give you an AOE buff to HP like what's happening on some of the other uh, factions such as the orcs and the um, Tau forces here. So it has enigmatic logic. Now nearby Necron forces temporary to gain a fragment of the Royal Warden's ancient combat expertise. Now this has multiple boons because one it gives you momentum so that will automatically give you a 7% accuracy increase here because of the 15 and um, what is it 15 by 0.2 so that would be three critical hit chance and it then gives you bonus HP and then for the Necron forces the more momentum they have the more they heal every turn so if you end up putting this around vehicles assuming these guys will get it it'll then increase their healing even further and you then get bonus HP on top of it to be able to survive so um, what I'm curious to know is if I do this if it's got to be directly around them or once you cast the spell It's like the towel where it just sticks around with them So I'm not sure if it's like a pain boy ability where you got to be directly next to them or if it's permanent uh, Ability for that expires in two turns. So we'll have to find that out But this could be an absolute nightmare for the guys that need to be healed. So, you know, oh your overlord got weakened and you need it to heal up, we'll pop this on top of them here, get that momentum and bonus HP to keep them alive further and get them out of danger. Oh, you almost got your Annihilation Barge taken out and it's got a bunch of, needs a bunch of healing. Well, get that momentum going to give it increased HP healing and then get them uh, closer to getting that bonus momentum going for additional attacks. Or if you could end up putting them on the Lich Guard here, uh, getting additional bonus HP. So potentially with 10 here plus that, that's not 
now 20 bonus HP uh, for these units that are already kind of hard to heal kill and you can do the same thing here and then you can stack everything up to just allow these things to just get completely out of control so I can definitely see this guy having uh, excellent utility here kind of an unusual design there I'm not quite sure what to make of that but uh, I think these guys are definitely going to have some utility either increasing the survivability of your ranged units but while stopping them from getting suppressed and giving a bonus HP to be able to take up more shots or to buff up your front line so it's even harder to kill them and that are already the, the units that are in front of you so I think no matter what these are going to be a fun unit to use. Oh, wrong button there. So we'll set up a skirmish. And let's see, it looks like we'll do a mirror match in Necrons here because you get three momentum, you get five momentum for each unit after moving three tiles and then you get the HP healing, uh, half a percent per momentum. So by the time you get to 100, that's a 50% moment, uh, HP heal for your unit. And when you're talking about Annihilation Barges and other units that have a lot of HP, that's a significant amount of healing that they can do. And when you throw their net Resurrection ability on top of it, it can be an absolute nightmare. And the other thing that this would allow you to do is potentially have this guy then become a better frontline fighter by having them be your Boy, HQ commander here. Immortals awaiting command. Progressing. Directly. Setting position. Heavy fire support. Alright, now I'll give everybody the movement bonus to help them get into combat quicker. So we'll do something like that. Because that's the one downside with the Necrons. Is they can definitely setting position my leash. Oh shit. I didn't move you fast enough. Because once they got out of range there, they lost their bonus movement. Immortals awaiting command. The sound of our guns will herald their death. Well, let's set up your overwatches, I guess. There are some set. Overwatch. The enemy is So yeah, they're doing decent damage there with their overwatches. Targets detected. Oh, I'm not liking that though. Yeah, so it's going to be one away from them. My leash. Heavy fire support. So bring you up. Oh, that was a mistake. How about we bring you back down? Progressing. The sound of our guns will herald their death. But you do Firing. your 80% shots, and you suck. In position. Your army awaits. All right, let's My find out what happens with these abilities here. 
improving battlefield performance. Yeah, see, now you're back up to 80. And if I move you away... Okay, so it does stick around. So that's good to know. Heavy fire support. Let's shoot these guys down. Your army awaits. All right, attack here. Directly. Shoot into here. up a little bit more. Alright, one came we back up. Run you up to here. Let you shoot these guys down. Because he's resurrected, so now that guy's down. Immortals awaiting command. Yeah, let's pull you back a little bit since you are my guy that's at risk of dying. What? Only a 33% chance. Let's shoot into here. Drop him so I don't need to worry about him anymore. Pull you back. Yeah, so this is these guys are definitely going to be great then to give all that bonus HP. your attack optimal three yeah, that could have been better An endless march. which yeah let's just Kneel attack here Shoot into here. Go down. My weakens. All right, and now these guys can be up again. Let's just keep working on these death marks here. Here, 
Mortals await in command. Let you get some shots here. Good. Your army awaits. Everybody just kind of body block up here, I guess. Immortals awaiting command. Heavy fire support. All right. So you're up to 35. So it's like I can run these guys up here. Immortals awaiting command. Heavy fire support. The sound of our guns will herald their death. Eighty percent chance to hit. Not a ton of momentum you guys are getting here. Three per model. Immortals awaiting command. the heck did they warp to? Your army awaits. Progressive. Well, I guess I'm going to be stacking momentum here. Immortals awaiting command. Where the hell did those guys go? They're down here. Okay, I see them. Heavy fire support. My people weakens. My liege, your army awaits. I can 
do that, get you some momentum. Alright, let's do something like that. Didn't actually have any good kills. Alright, shoot into here. That's eight. That's only three. Damn it. Alright, it's 98. It is allowing you to get some heals. I guess we're just going to have to put you all around here. Turn you forward. No, don't kill him. Damn it. Immortals awaiting command. Heavy fire support. My liege. Alright, let's try this. Your army awaits. Oh, goddammit, it's only got a movement of one. Directly. Oh shit, did I just screw myself? Alright, here we go. So empower increase one accuracy per momentum. So if you had this totally empowered, he would have a hundred percent and he would have a point four, so that'd be twenty-five critical, cannot be suppressed, expires in two turns. So that would give you pretty much two turns with massive momentum. And then if you use the enigmatic logic empowered that gives plus 35 momentum, plus 25 bonus HP. It has a one turn cooldown. It has increased range up to two instead of one. So if we do this, all of a sudden all these guys have all this bonus. Wow, these guys are amazing. So I could definitely see these guys having a high utility on our multiplayer matches here. You can have your really tanky units have incredible amounts of HP, get a bunch of healing. Um, you increase the amount of damage they can do in ranged units so they can't be suppressed to help you get additional kills. Um, all overall, these guys are just going to be really good. And they increase the survivability of your units. They have that uh, increased 10% HP for two turns that sticks around. Um, they can do good damage with armor piercing to really snipe down a lot of additional units. I think just overall I'm going to definitely be using them as a backbone of my army. It's going to increase the survivability of your range units. It's going to increase the survivability and damage of your melee units. I think just everything it's going to be able to do is going to pay dividends uh, no matter what kind of force selection you get. Um, those Higher uh, Praetorians are always already kind of a pain in the ass to kill, and I can get them 10% additional HP. Um, and you can increase their accuracy further, because that's one thing that's a major downside to them, is they don't always have great uh, ability to attack. Uh, they seem to miss a bunch of attacks, but now if you can all of a sudden guarantee increasing uh, critical hit chances and accuracy on them, I think they're going to have a significant improvement to their utility in the long run. So I am definitely very thrilled about seeing what these guys have to offer uh, in the future here. And I think there could actually be an argument about whether these guys will end up replacing some people's uh, faction armies with possibly leaving the Overlord out now every two three turn every three turns I think it is being able to summon another Necron warrior can definitely be good especially when you're doing strategic command maps you just need guys to body block points down but uh, these are going to be highly cost effective units uh, to lead your faction so um, whether you're doing melee or range they're going to be great for you so thanks for watching I hope you're enjoying these videos if you are please give my channel a like and subscribe encourage me to post more content for you have a great day